when I was in Ethiopia, I was looking for a school that provided international studies and a multidisciplinary education that I can use as a the future diplomat of Ethiopia. And specifically for someone from my background, um, we don't come from a lot of money and the support that SUA was willing to provide to foster this type of education was crucial. My life's mission is to become the concierge of business in Africa. And to do that, you need to understand economics, you need to understand politics, you need to understand how businesses make decisions, you need to understand the latest developments in technology. All of these things are multidisciplinary and laying the groundworks at SUA to develop the thinking, to understand how all these variables interact will yield me great returns when I'm trying to impact the world, specifically Africa. Being born in Ethiopia, the biggest changes that happened in my life came via either private sector investments or it's been through diplomatic ties between countries and those treaties then manifest to better life for everybody on the ground. I noticed this since I was very young. I noticed that without integrating deeper into the broader world economy, that Ethiopia and countries like us are going to be left behind. The divide between the developed and the developing is going to continue to diverge. And so I felt like being given the opportunity to come to the United States and learn about how the systems work, how those decisions are being made, was a crucial piece for me to accelerate more investments that are coming into Ethiopia. And from Ethiopia, I realized, why am I just anchoring to the country that I was born into? Because there are other people that look like me from neighboring countries that need the same level of support. So what really drives me is when I see that we are in a place today where technology is rapidly developing, and I would like to plug in as soon as possible. And that's what motivates me. That's the impact I want to generate. Have everybody on equal standing. But more importantly, my people also benefit significantly. Right? The literacy rates will start climbing up. Access to higher education will be more available. Simultaneously, they'll be able to have better health care, better access to calories. This is luxury and privilege that's available in the Western world. And unless people like me are driven to start plugging in to that Western world's luxury, start benefiting the people that are in my home, then it won't happen. And so that's what drives me.